Music Running. It's late here on a Friday night. I just wanted to say hi, get this Facebook Live done, and I wanted, I have a question. I have a question to you guys. What if we stopped paying attention to those things that really bother us? You know what I mean? Um, Tina Fey did a lovely uh, skit on SNL. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that where she's talking about what happened in Charlotte and all the new, um, all the new protests that are going to be going on? And she said, what if you treated it just like it was a movie, a romantic movie with two females in the lead? And why don't you just treat it exactly like that and don't show up? And I'm like, holy smokes. I'm like, wow, that's like genius. Because according to the law of attraction, that which we focus on is what we get in the positive and in the negative. So when we all show up protesting, protesting, angry, angry, mean, 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 we get more of that. So let's take it down a step and let's take this into our own life. Okay, when I tell a story about why I don't think I can do something, like, okay, so I'm older now, and I hadn't been weightlifting in about 10 years, and so it kind of shows. But just because I'm older now and I haven't weightlifted in 10 years doesn't mean I can't start weightlifting today. I don't have to um, go, you know what, my body is is older and it just is what it is. That's not true. My body doesn't have to hurt. My body doesn't have to ache. I talk about my body in a brand new way. So I no longer give attention to those aches and pains. I no longer give attention to, oh, I don't have enough energy. Instead I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can work during commercials. You know what I mean? I can get up and do things. I can get up and I can do some bicep curls. I have a band over there where I can do some bicep curls. I can go against the wall and I can do some push-ups until I can do them on the floor. I'm having a few issues with an arm here right now that the chiropractor is helping me, helping me out with a rotator cuff. I finally figured out what I did to injure it. And um, we don't have to accept things as they are and we don't have to talk about the things in our life that we don't like. We don't have to talk about the things in the world that we don't like because that's not what fixes it. That is not what fixes it at all. What fixes it is spending more time doing things that we love, doing things that we enjoy, putting lots of good energy out there. And some of you may be listening and say, oh, that just sounds like a bunch of woo-woo crap. And let me tell you, one person in an audience can uplift everybody else in that audience. I've done it. I've seen it. I've been uplifted by others. I've had people come up to me uh, after a seminar. It's like, you don't know how much energy I got from you. Every time I wanted to quit or every time I was angry, I just looked at you. And I was like, wow. Okay, so there's a lesson here. Tina Fey said, don't show up for that stuff there that you know you're not going to like it. Don't show up. Don't give it any more thought. Don't give it any discussion. So when I talk about my body, I talk about in the what is. The wow, how nice it is now that I'm doing more bicep curls and I'm doing more tricep exercises and I'm on the elliptical, that my shoulder is healing so much faster and my arms are getting much more strength. Do you see that? It's not telling what is, it's telling what is. It's telling what is. So, in Star Trek, because I'm a Trekkie, they always say resistance is futile. If you uh, like Douglas Adams, he wrote The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series and a lot of other great stuff too. Uh, he said resistance is useless. And so if resistance is futile and resistance is useless, why do we keep... Why do we keep doing that stuff? Because it's not in the in the bad thing like we are the Borg and we are going to we are going to assimilate you. It's okay. These are the things in my life. It's the same as like worry. Have you ever heard that worry? You can worry all you want, and we worry about things that never ever happen. Well, the exact same thing is true about that resistance. The resistance is always to something that we want for ourselves, something that's better. Heck, you know, I want a better, healthier body. So, you know, I'm not going to resist that anymore. I'm not going to give any more attention to all the reasons I can't do it. It's all the reasons I can. So if you're in business for yourself, 
and you need to get out there and you do marketing, you have to make uh, sales calls, uh, things like that. And so instead of talking about all the reasons it's so painful to do it, start talking about all the reasons that it's going to make a difference. Do you believe in your product? Do you believe in what you're selling? Do you believe in yourself? Absolutely. Why not? Right? Resistance is useless. Stop giving so much freaking attention to all those things that you don't want. Start thinking about, okay, so what's the flip side? Because sometimes it's hard. At first, it's a lot easier to think about what we don't want. And I don't know that it's easier. It's um, part of our comfort zone. And so we identify, most of us, identify so easily with that which we don't want. And that's what we keep talking about. And um, so how easy it is to flip it on its head, to do a little 180 and to say, you know what? I would love to paint more. I would like to have more time to spend with my significant other. I would like to spend 10 minutes a day meditating. I would like to find in my schedule uh, time to reconnect with friends. I would like to make time in my schedule to network more. I'd like time in my schedule to take a walk. I would like time in my schedule to do whatever it is to do. When I still worked in corporate America, I was very, very diligent about making sure that I took my 10 minute walk in the morning and my 10 minute walk in the afternoon. 10 minutes, right? You get out, you walk, you move your body, you get some sunshine on your face and I would come back and people would come up to me and they'd go, wow, they said, it must be really nice to get out of here and go for a walk every day. And they didn't say it in a way that it was like very nice to do it. They said it in a way like, how dare you go take time for yourself? And you know what, that 10 minute walk away, when I was out there moving, just chatting with a friend, enjoying life and just, you know, moving my body, I would often find the solution, the answer to the problem that I had been working on inside. I had some kind of idea would pop up. Whereas all those other people were standing, talking, goofing off, you know, still wrestling with the same problem. And you know, if things aren't working, you get up and you move. And even if things, and, and it's not just that when things aren't moving, you get up and you move anyway. The body needs to move about every 45 minutes. You need to do something. That's why I started doing my Facebook Live standing up. That's why the standing desks are becoming so fashionable right now where you stand up and check your email and stuff like that. Some people stand up and they walk on a treadmill. I think that's more than I can, <laughs> I can do. I don't think I can actually type my book and walk on a treadmill at the same time time. So, you know, think about just n new ways of doing something. Those old cans that got in the way, it's like, okay, so here I am doing my bicep curls. And I can do them just like this. And this works. And I've got some five pound weights over there. And I can grab those and do them with those. And sometimes if five pounds is too much, I've got a water bottle I can put in each hand and do those. Start talking about what is. Start talking about what you can do. I set the date. I set the date for climbing Mount Kilimanjaro that I had been resistant to setting that date. Because what happens when we set a date is that, okay, here's the time. It's going to happen here. Because at first I was allowing, yeah, but what if I don't have, what if, what, what if I, I allowed myself to go there to those places that I talk about, don't go there. And I was like, stop. Okay, take a look can create in two ways here. How do you want to do it? Do you want to create climbing Mount Kilimanjaro or do you want to continue to create not climbing Mount Kilimanjaro? Well, you know, I want to create climbing Mount Kilimanjaro and that's getting this beautiful body into a little bit more shape to make it happen. So that which you think about persists, that which you resist persists. The law of attraction is always working in the positive and in the negative. So a good chance about checking in with where your vibration is, is like, well, how do you feel? Do you kind of feel angry, depressed, sad, emotionally? Do you feel victimized? Or do you feel confident, courageous, solution oriented? I can do this. Happy, excited, adventurous, endless possibilities. Because when we come from that aspect, all that other crap doesn't matter. All that other crap doesn't matter. We make things happen and that's how change occurs.
That is how change occurs. So the date is June 8th, 2018 climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. So I want to know about you. I want to know what's your Kilimanjaro? How can I help you climb that mountain? I've got a pretty extensive network. I'm sure that I know someone that can help you out. So have a great evening. Happy Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And let me know, are you guys going to go look at the eclipse? My hubby and I are taking off. We live in the Carolinas now. And so, yep, we're taking off to go watch the eclipse. How does it get any better than that? And you know what? Somebody gave me a pair of glasses today. How does it really get any better than that? So you guys have an absolutely fascinating evening. This is Lisa. Until tomorrow, have a great night. Bye-bye.